What's up guys and welcome to FL Fishing Channel. Today's video is going to be all about the bottom fishing. I'm going to share with you guys the rig that I use mostly for bottom stopper and also for groupers. All right, before we go to the rig, let's talk about the rod and reel you should use. Number one, you should use a conventional reel. If it's a fast reel, even better. If it's a double speed, that will be the best you can use for bottom fishing. Why? When you hook it to a big fish on the bottom, like a mountain snapper, like a big grouper, what the fish does, they will look for a hole where to hide. They will go under the rocks and stuff like that. So you need to crank hard. But sometimes you can't crank hard. Why? Because you have a monster on the other side pulling so hard and you can't. But if you have a, a double speed reel, what you're gonna do, you're gonna to go into a lower setting, lower gear, and that way you're gonna be able to crank that fish up way easier. It's gonna help a lot. It's gonna help you a bunch. That's why you want to have a double speed reel. Like I said, if you don't have one, well, man up and crank hard. But if you have a double, double speed reel, just get the double speed on the lowest settings, boom, and crank up. The rod is also very important. You need a rod that you can trust, a rod that has some backbone, something, something strong. You want to make sure you're going to be able to pull hard, at least at the beginning of the fight. Because you don't want to, you can't let that fish go into the rocks, into a hole. You have to bring them up no matter what. All right, let's talk about the rig. This rig is really easy to do, really simple. It's been around for years. Most people use it for modern snapper. It works also for groupers, cobia, whatever's down there is going to get the bait. It's going to eat your bait this way. So it's a great way to fish the bottom. So let me show you how to do it. To start, I'm going to be using 50 pounds mono. I like to use mono on all my bottom rods. So this is no difference. I'm going to be using 50 pounds. All right, guys, let me show you how to make the rig. It's really simple. This is the line that comes from your reel, from your rod, right? You're going to get a swivel. It doesn't matter what type of swivel it is. Just a cheap swivel. Don't spend so much money on this swivel. This is only for the sinker. So don't use a really good one. doesn't have to be. Get your swivel to your line, right? Leave it in there. Then you're going to use a bed. It can be all these round ones. Or this, I like these guys right here, but you can use whichever you want. It doesn't matter. Or if you don't have any, just don't use any. It doesn't really, it, it still works. So, so far, this is what we got. Got the swivel and we got the bed. Then, you're going to get another swivel. This time, you're going to use a good quality swivel. This is the one that's going to be pulling your fish. So far, this is what we have. All right, let me see if you guys can see here. Really simple. So I'm using 15 pounds made as the main line. For the sinker, I'm gonna use less. In case I get stuck on the bottom, the sinker gets stuck on the bottom. If I have to pull it, the sinker will break off and I will lose my whole rig, just the sinker. So I'm gonna be using about 20, 25 pounds for the sinker, that will be more than enough. So in this case, I don't have 20, 25. I'm not gonna go get it. I'm gonna use this right here just to show you guys how to do it. Anyway, this line, this right here, the piece you're gonna use for the sinker should be about four feet or three feet. Okay, let's cut it right here. So let's say this is three feet of line right now, okay? And I can't make it so big that way you guys won't you guys won't be able to see if I make it too big. So you do a knot on your swivel, the one is floating in the line. It doesn't have to be anything special, it's just to hold your sinker. All right, so far this is what we got. We got the end with the swivel, the bit, and the floating swivel with the piece of line. At the end of the piece of line, you're gonna, this line should be about two to three feet long. And then at the end, you're gonna make a loop. You're gonna go two times. You're gonna make a regular nut, close it. Boom. This is how it's supposed to look like. Got it. So, right now, this is really short right here because I'm showing you guys, but it should be at least two foot long, at least two feet long, okay? Here's where you're gonna be attaching your sinker, which is really simple to do. Look, just go through the, through the eye of the sinker, get through the sinker, wait, get through the sinker, and pull it back, that's it. All right, guys, this is what we got so far. 
We got the little line with the sinker. Remember this line, it should be around two feet at least, two to three feet long. We need, we're gonna have a little bit in the middle and of course the swivel. My line is gonna be, my leader is gonna be 50 pounds because I normally use big baits for big fish. So I wanna use 50 pounds or 60. All right, I'm gonna use whatever another here. It doesn't really matter. It's just to show you guys how it's gonna look like. Boom, I'm gonna cut it right short. It's just for demonstration. Quick. Okay. So we got the sinker, right? We got the little bit and we got the swivel. This is gonna be my leader. Here's the most important part. Your leader needs to be at least 40 feet long, at least 40 feet. You can go from 40 to max, in my opinion, 60. Some people go even up to 80. To me, that's a little crazy. If it's not current, I do 20 minimum, max 30 without current. What I do when it's not current, I try to keep the sinker a little higher. The hook you want to use, or the hook that I like to use, I use 5 0 for the small baits, smaller baits for like a bally hoop and stuff like that. A sardine, a big sardine. I don't use I don't use the small baits for bottom fish. But anyway, I use a 5 0 or a 7 0 for like a big speedo, like a half a speedo or a chunk of bonita, stuff like that. I use a 7 0 because I'm gonna be looking for bigger fish with a smaller bait. I use 5 0 circle hook if I'm fishing over 100 feet. If I'm fishing shallow, my leader won't be 40 to 60 feet. My leader will be maybe 25, 30 feet. And I'm going to go with J hooks because I can really, because I'm so shallow, I'm going to be able to feel that bite. You're going to be able to crank it hard and get the fish. But when you're fishing over 100 feet, you have at least you're going to have a hundred and something of line. Plus your leader is it's gonna be another 40, 50 feet. You might not gonna be able to feel that bite the way you will feel it if you're feeling fishing shallow. So for that, you wanna use circle hooks to make sure if you don't feel it, if the fish comes to eat it and eats the whole thing, you don't have to pull it hard to get the fish. The fish will get hooked by himself, by himself, right? Also, the sinker. You wanna use a big sinker. You wanna use a sinker that stays straight down it can go a little a little bit to the front depending on the current but don't let the sinker fly too too high if the sink is going too crazy too high you want to use a bigger sinker this is what six ounces sometimes i go up to two pounds which is 24 ounces i use a big sinker i want my my line my main line to be straight down your leader could be fluorocarbon if you liked but it's going to be a lot of fluorocarbon it's going to be very expensive what you can do do about 30, 40 feet of regular mono and then about 10 foot of just fluorocarbon. You, you can do a little nut, you can attach it, the mono line to your fluorocarbon and that's it, that works too. All right guys, this is how it's supposed to look like. Remember, 40 to 60 feet long. If it's not this long, if it's not very, if it's not a very long litter, it won't work. You might catch a fish, but you will catch way more fish if you have a long leader. Trust me on that. You want a really long leader. You can use fluorocarbon up front. You can cut this line right here. You can have a piece of fluorocarbon up front if you like fluorocarbon. If I normally don't even use fluorocarbon unless the bite is really slow, but you can if you like fluorocarbon. Circle hook if you're fishing deep waters over 100 feet. Jig hook if you're fishing less than 100 feet, but you can use circle hook even in 20 feet, 10 feet, doesn't matter. It's the way I do it. I'm telling you guys the way I do it, the way I see it works for me. On the description, I'm gonna leave a link to a video that's gonna show you guys how to butterfly a fish, how to butterfly a dead bait for bottom fishing. It's very important for you to learn how to butterfly a fish. It's one of the most effective ways for you to use the bait. What are you doing?
a snapper. Got a mug. Hey. Black Gruber. No, me no. Beautiful Black Gruber. Gonna let it go. That's all that I got for today. I hope this video helped. If it did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next.